Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new Mango Day! To a new day with Mango, let's say, not the Mango Day. A new day with Mango with another special deck! Lutri, the Spell Chaser. This is a crazy card. This is a companion that... Uh, it was immediately banned in in, in, in Commander as, as soon as it, as soon as it came out because it's basically free, and then uh, people like tend to like make fun of this companion because it was more casual and like not really up there for a constructed play. And uh, after that, you can see like Lutri being played in like some meme deck and fun decks um, as a companion. But and I, I almost I was always like hesitant to bring it on the channel because. If you saw my channel, I always try to bring decks that actually like did well in some challenges or like preliminaries, you know, like some decks that are capable of like doing well in this deck, you know, but 5-2 this Saturday in the Modern Challenge, a million six to, I'm not sure how many rounds it was, but came 11th place and so, so it's time, it's time to bring it on the channel. All right, uh, what does it do? Well. You copy a spell, but most likely what's important of Lutri is that you get a free card, just like you get a free Lurus, free Kahera, free Yorian. The the requirements of the companion are each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. So there's no land, so we can play like four Scalding Tarn and three Flood of Strand, but mostly every card in the deck is singleton. So we're playing like a modern commander, which is, uh, well, I mean, very fun, because playing Singleton Magic is super fun. Every every game is a different experience. It's very challenging, especially in a, especially in a four-color deck, because you don't really know what uh, what mana do you have to get. I mean, it's mostly going to be, you need you need four colors, because we're playing four colors, from Lightning Elix to, um, you know, to, to Express Iteration, to Grand Lock. We also have some double blue, like Counterspell, Vendillion Click, Jason my sculpture, etc. But you also just want to have the other colors, like you have Ragavan Turn 1, Thoughtseize, you have Path to Exile, so on and so forth. Ending, of course. So, um, this deck is uh, super fun because every experience is going to be different. We're going to play with cards that just really don't see the light of play anymore, like Monastery Mentor, Vindicate. We have Search for Ascanta. This card is super strong. It's just that. Cards is just too strong these days, you have to cut it. Mana Leak, this card used to be all over the places in Modern. Counterspell got printed and completely replaced Mana Leak, but you know, in the Lutri deck you can play Mana Leak as well. Um, what else to mention? I don't think, uh, you know, you can't really talk about every single card because this is like, I don't know, I don't want to do the math, but a lot of Singleton cards that all saw play at some point in their modern life. And, um, I'm excited to try playing Commander in Modern is definitely going to be the goal of today. Four color Lutri, let's go. Don't know why she shows up Castle Ventress there. Okay. And this is obviously, despite, you know, it finished 11th place, I don't expect this deck to be uh, strong enough, mostly because it doesn't have consistency. Modern constructed magic, competitive magic, the one that I play, uh, cares about consistency. And uh, this definitely can't give you the consistency, because you're playing uh, only one odds. Like, when you think about consistency, I think about Team of Rhinos that only does the same thing every game. Or Tron, you know, those decks are consistent because their deck, their constructed deck is made to do the thing and they have plenty of cards that lets them do the thing. This deck doesn't really have a plan. You just try to kill your opponent's stuff, stuck yours, get card advantage. It's like that, you know? All right, let's go join match. Yeah, Vendillion Click. Vendillion Click, definitely a card uh, that, uh, <laughs> that hasn't sh seen play in a while. All right, let's reveal our companion. Okay, we got we got colors. This is a secret founder, so I try him. On the draw. Oh, yeah, keep, keep.
Jace Burns Prodigy, another super sweet card. What's a Wincon? I mean, you, if you know how to, if you know Magic, th th there's no Wincon. This is a deck. Like this is a deck with cards. You just attack with whatever you have. All right, put him out to five and starts with Steam Vents. Okay. Counter spell spreading seas. Okay, I don't care about spreading seas this swamp here. I'm just uh, discarding counter spell. Opponent's playing like no companion. That's like what blue moon there. It's probably blue moon. Oh, they don't spreading seas the swamp. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll go Jace VP. Yeah, I'm the meme lord now. Although, you know, I... I... Alright, what did I do? Okay, they drew a counter spell. Okay, and they still pass. Huh. Ooh, Merc that Regent. Okay. Um, opponent is spreading seas. I'm very afraid to fetch this land because they have the spreading seas that's about to, like, hit it. So I'm just doing nothing here and passing. Hmm. Actually, I can like trick them into play spreading seas because they have drawn the lock up. So that's actually what I'm doing here. I'll fetch for a side by triome, I think. No, maybe a uh, rogue range triome is better. Yeah. And then I'll pass. Now my opponent is gonna most likely spreading season. I'm just running the lock up. All right, dress down. Okay, cool. You're late for loot tree? No, no, no. You're not late. It's just round one. All right, and let's counter this. If I just fetch end of turn, maybe they wouldn't have played loot tree, uh, spreading season again, and I wouldn't have done the thing again. Okay, draw. Ooh, nice. Sacred Foundry. Okay, so what now? Buongiorno, Sambuco. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a classic a good friend of mine that messaged me on WhatsApp. And I'm like, just come on stream. If you message me on stream, I'll happily answer you. Much, much easier than, than on the phone. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so they did play the spreading seas when I wanted to. Cool, cool, cool. Foundry and Tap to go and play uh, Memory Deluge is definitely an appealing play. And if they rip another counter spell, um, it'll be fine. Okay. Also, I drew a second white red land. This means that uh, I don't really care if uh, they spreading sees one of these two. All right, and let's play Memory Deluge. I think Memory Deluge was actually the only change I've made to the list that came 11th place. It didn't have Memory Deluge. This card is too good, I think. Okay, a third counter spell. That's fine. Again, I could have done this in my... Ooh, Teferino. Bonjour, Teferino. Bonjour. All right, let's go, Teferino. My opponent doesn't have the Lira for an only heat, so let's just take this up and pass. What did you cover the Luge Teferi 5? And if they still play Blood Moon, I can still bounce Blood Moon. You play your own Teferino. Hey, Alright, Bunch of Rallian Walker. Okay, they minus three to draw land, I guess. Okay. Um I don't wanna delve I don't wanna delve my graveyard. My opponent doesn't look like they have many ways to deal with Merc that Regent. I think I'm just paying 5 to play a Merc. Or I can return Lutri and then... Oh, actually I can't like Lutri Bolt because how Teferi works. I'm just gonna go 7 mana Regent here. It's not the flashiest of the plays. But I think it's alright. And they still can't get Delirium. Yeah, sometimes uh, full Furino, but it's not it's not good anymore. Memory Deluge main phase. Okay, <laughs> this could have been a chase to my sculpture better than all and would have bounced my Merc. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. 
Friku Nasty with the raid. Sure, sure. Friku Nasty got got attentioned by the 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 Lutri companion. Ooh, ooh. All right, welcome everyone. Welcome everybody. Just a nice, good old match against the control deck round one. Okay, now what do I do? Mm -hmm. So now they have the Lyra, but I don't think they play only Heath in that deck. Uh, let me uh, draw a card. I want to draw a good card. That's not a good card. Okay, I think I want to Bolt Teferi. Or I can just cast Lutri. Maybe that's better, actually. Yeah, I think I'm just casting Lutri here. So your six mana three two could have been a Kahera. The requirements would have been much more light. I mean, I can't cast Lutri for value. There's Teferi on the play. Lutri video, yes. Spreading seas on the rug and try. All right, still got double blue. For the memory deluge. And they play what? Chalice on one. Okay. They have one card in hand and they take up Teferi. I'm going to attack Teferi. That's why I played the uh, Lutri. And then I can like bounce my Lutri if I want to. Okay, but now I just take up and pass. I have memory deluge flashback. Memory deluge is such a strong card. It's really such a strong card. Just, you know... It's a threat on the front side of opponent at two force uh, to add to a uh, counter spell. And then ooh, so let's start colonnade. Alright. That's annoying. We can bounce the chalice, but uh oh what's this? Chalice on two. Okay. Uh Steam Vents, yes. Oh, let's deluge here. Good night, good night, Freku Nasty. Thank you, thank you so much. Allora, what do we got? Uh, remember that there's two chalices. So, um, well, I can take Vindicate and I can take Brazen Borrower. Snapcaster Mage! Boom, 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 bada boom, boom, boom. Uh, uh, um. Well, let's attack for three with my spell Chaser. Eh, what do I want to do? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna bounce the chalice on one here. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I now read chat. So if there is a ch maybe you don't know this, but if there's a chalice on two in play, it stops casting chalice for one. It's really weird because chalice on one converted mana cost on the stack is two. So the chalice on two counters chalice on one. It's it's weird, but that's actually how it works. Are right, those want to vindicate something or do want to hold it? Uh, I think I'm gonna hold it. Yeah. Why no force in the deck? There's no force of negation. I didn't pay attention to that. Yeah, there should definitely be. I, I apologize. I Again, I net deck the person who came uh, 11th place and they probably played on a budget because there's no reason not to play force of negation. Okay, you're flashing back that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. Buongiorno, Samba Sand. I guess it's more of a budget list now without force of negation. I didn't pay attention. I just checked only memory deluge. I mean, I, I saw the list. I was like, what's this list missing? I only thought about memory deluge. I didn't think about that. Do you think wizards will ever print other companions? For sure. They have to print other companions. We can't just live with Ikora companion for the rest of the life. <laughs> they will for sure build other companion. They're very, you know, just definitely a pillar of modern, so... Allora, um, they're on 13, okay, uh, what do I do? Uh, I guess I'm just casting Brazen Borrower, and um, two types in the graveyard, I also want to bolt them, I think so, yeah, I'm going to bolt, aspetta uh, un attimo, let me fetch first, and then I bolt them. Mm 
both them. Surveil, prismatic ending. Eh, yeah, this is fine. I have Teferi. Uh, that's uh, seven damage. Mm, I guess I win. Yeah, I win here, right? I go prismatic ending on the chalice, and that's not caster bolt. Okay. B Snapcaster Mage. Lining. Bold. All right. Don't worry. Play Snappy. Don't worry, play Snappy. All right, play against Control. I'm going to have Dovin's Peto, Mystical Dispute, Spell Pierce, Fluster Stonks, Nihil Spell Bomb, Relic of Progenitus. Bah. That's probably it. All right, let's take out the bad cards. Fatal Push. Man, sideboarding with this deck is fun. Uh, Fatal Push? Yeah, probably. Sideboarding with this deck is super fun. Don't worry, play Snappy now. Wow, Lingering Souls is so good. Uh, actually, this counters Chalice of the Void. I don't think I care about it. Yeah. But look, I randomly have a cyber guide here. <laughs> Imagine writing a cyber guide for Lutri. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's everything. Don't worry, play Snappy. Tainted Pact in Modern. Sure, yeah, it's a cool card. I think Combo needs a little bit of a help in Modern. There's way too many um, good answers and Combo is struggling. All right, this end is super slow, but you know, never been afraid of a fast format against Blue, of a fast start. Oh, another, four, another three drop, just how I liked it. Um, considering that my opponent has uh, several, uh, nah, it's forgetting Rogue and Triumph. I don't care if you go. I play Commander in Modern. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Rest in Pepega. Okay. No more. It's funny because I also brought in like Neil's album and Relic. So. Oh, more three drop. Go, go. Hopefully, you don't go Chalice on three opponent. Okay, resting Pepega will mean we don't have a graveyard anymore. So memory deluge, uh, I don't know, a bunch of random cards are now dead. Consider. I'm gonna do, uh, I think, Vendillon Click end of turn. Ice. Oh, you want to ice my land? Uh, what do I do here? Oh, I think I just play Consider. Um, yeah, I just play Consider. Channeler. Oh, yeah, I don't want his things. I, I don't want a Channeler. <laughs> Those are rest in peace in play. All right, if they do something, they don't. Very good news. Very good news. Don't worry, play Snappy. Oh, drowning the lock. <laughs> Straight up a dead card. I guess it kills a shark token. That's it. Good morning, Big Z. Oh, put it with the combo. Opponent, uh, turn four combo chat. Turn two, you clear the graveyard. Turn four, you play your Behold the Multiverse. Still good enough, though. I mean, the, the, the floor on Behold the Multiverse is still strong. All right, it's time 
to see what's up over there. You you missed the Boris Crack streams? Oh, I've streamed that deck so much. It's time to check up on my opponent. Opponent, show me what you got. Click his colonnade, it does. All right, then they don't click hits a counter spell, just like in the good old days. All right, we don't play uh, the Ords of Land, I just learned. That's okay, I didn't need it. I'm just getting random lands and I hope it pays out in the end. Don't worry. Play Snappy. I think I'll ca I'm tapping out for Teferi here. The rest of, like, I'm not casting any of these two end of turn. Kind of want to just wait for the Lutri to do the thing. Because with Lutri in end, you can... Um, with Lutri in end, you can... Uh, uh, just basically play around counter as well. Because you play a spell, if they counter it, you cast Lutri and copy the spell that they're counter it. I have Lutri in my cube, and it's it's strong there. Teferone, Paperone. Okay. I wonder if I should annually eat it. Nah, I think it's the same. Going to three, it's similar, yeah. Another with card rip? What? Drown? Yeah, no, Drown is not good with rip, but I mean, it's my point of the one with the fairy, so. Sorry, rip. I didn't think about it. Alright, drop! Snappy, actually. Um, let's try and vindicate the Teferi. If they go Dovin's Veto, eh, I lose. The game ruling comprehensions state that if you untap with Teferi here of Dominaria in play, you win the game. Let's see if opponent uh, gets a technical concession. Wait, what? Alright, I guess they have another Floss Storm? All right, please vindicate. Do the thing. No, yeah, it's pretty obvious they didn't have a turn. That's okay. We can call this a two for one. Except my opponent's drawing two cards per turn, and we have the only the dead draw of my deck. Yeah, we also have Dragon's Red Chandler. That thankfully I consider that way, or that would have been also another one. Chase the mind sculpture better than all. Our right, opponent with the Holy Duo. With the Holy Duo Jace the Fairy 5. Alright, we have enough damage burn spell, but unfortunately they're all like shitty burn. Like they do like one damage. Sorry, I meant two damage, and these planeswalkers are much better than that. Boop I'm gonna pass. No, no, no. Let's try and uh, uh, like K command, discard the two damage. Then if this works, I'll land only eat. And then if I have a mystical dispute up. If they go counterspell, I'll give up. Our right, make Charm. I can fight over this. Alright, I'll give up. Good game. Good game, Switch John. Well done, well done. Alright, since my opponent also has Rest in Peace, I think it's pretty silly for me to have both Nihil Spellbomb and Relic of Progenitus. But I really do not have much. Maybe Spreading Seas is not the worst. Uh, brutality, I just simply hate this card, but I guess against is better than the two artifacts. Okay, let's go on the play with the companion, Lutri, the Spell Chaser. In my hand. There is Force of Negation! Who said that there's no Force in the deck? Ma che cazzo! <laughs> imagine just trusting imagine just trusting the people that you read in the chat this is like my mom that comes to me like oh look I, I won a thing they're on the phone it says that they won a thing I did the same I just read chat and I assumed it was the truth alright I, I knew I should have known better never believe 
anyone and that's yes the internet rules still apply all right let's get a Savai trium uh, show me your hand opponent please I would like to take a counter spell oh questa qua eccolo oh wow you have three of a kind sweet you beat my singleton you're with your three of a kind one shared brain cell. No, I click on the planes. I hate when this happens. After like you hide the planes, they like never play the planes anymore, and you just opponent doesn't have a cahera. No, but be ice. Lol. Ma perché devi sempre perché non c'è poco cazzo? When I discard one, all right, all right, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. They say. They say it's cool, but in reality, it's not. Because I was supposed to play the fairy first. The ice is so strong. E do I cast this force? Ma, you know what? You can keep your Teferi. One day I'll force something. If not, whatever. I don't want to pitch my Teferi. All right, you go. A good old game of magic where no one can interact with the opponent. Just has magic should have been. Has magic should be brought you by to Fury Three. No, 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 I killed my Teferino, I didn't even draw a card. Oh, another counter spell. Allora, let's prismatic ending this guy. I think I'm gonna force the second Teferi, which is super sad because I know they have a third one. But yeah, I literally don't have a hand. I have three cards and two of them are spells. Not yet. Let's draw a good spell. I know I have one. Jace. Oh, Bono. I like it. Blue block. Alright, I'll get back my companion, because then I can loot Ray Coligan's command. Alright, we countered all the Teferis, and now magic will forever be the magic that we know. No more magic by Teferi Time Raveler. Nice. Nice. The problem is that as much as I want to like Lutri Coligan's command, what do I do? Deal four discard two? I guess it's fine deal four discard two, right? Yeah, it's fine. All right. Now we go Lutri, copy K command, a yeah, same. So we're basically using Lutri as a, a three mana three two that discards a card on ATV, like uh, Cheatering Rats. Rakdos Return. Yeah, exactly. Rakdos Return. <laughs> you discard a Resting Pepe, a guy in Counter Spell. All right, you have one card in end, but you have Castle of Interest. No, non mi fate ferone. Don't ferone me, please. No, no, no. Oh, Solitude. Okay. All right, we're on top deck mode. I have one less, one more land. They have Castle and Solitude. So, so I'm putting this ahead. Unless I draw exactly the card named. Boom. Spreading Seed. All right, not bad. Happy. Okay, and now... 
steam vents. Okay, oh play, why not? Oh, porco cazzo. All right, me too, I have that too. Come on, let's draw that one. Memory de luge, memory de luge, memory de luge. Valky, you want Valky? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. The God of Lies. Terra. Oh, speaking of dream, tonight I dreamt uh, I dreamt Reed Duke chat. I dreamt of playing a, a friendly legacy match with Reed Duke. That was my dream. I don't exactly remember, not even what matchup we played, but I do remember that at some point. We played 23 lands? I guess my opponent's playing more than 23 lands. I get an 11. Draw a card. Can I draw a spell? I see I have to report a merda. Alright, I lost game one. It turns out that if you go to up the commodity and draw three lands while your opponent doesn't, you lose. And that's okay. We had a, we had a, we had a good try. We had a, we had a good run. We had a good run. We had a good run. Unfortunately, in the game Magic the Gathering, you reach a stage often where you both have zero cards in hand. And then, uh, you know, who draws better wins. And that's fine. You have to accept that. Otherwise, you just play another game. If you can't accept this, you just play another game. It's, it's just as easy as that. They afford the luge. They don't afford the luge. They play maybe one or two. They even have rest of these, so they maybe board it out one. Three zero is my opponent nicknamed. That's a strong. Uh, that's a strong. Um, Ooh, we got search for us, can't uh, we? Got Ragaban, but we're also on the draw. Ragaban is worse on the draw. Are you ready for Kamigawa? Yep, 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 yep. <gasps> Den of the Bugbear, Ether Vile. Ragaban is literally just doesn't have attacks if they go Mo Goblin War Marshall. Mock War Marshall. Whatever, let's make them have it. Please don't Mogwar Marshal me. Please don't Mogwar Marshal me. Just, I don't know, pass. Does that exist? Wow! They didn't do the thing. You can like violate like a scared prospector or something. Or a mock fanatic. Wow, we connected? What? <gasps> Mogwar Marshall. I was going to go search for a scanta, but maybe I go Mogwar Marshall here. Yeah. A uh, blue white. Any <laughs> rancor, thank you. Appreciate it. Says a uh, Lutri deck deserves a sub. All right, all right. I hope more people are of your own idea later today. Thank you, thank you, any rancor. Okay, maybe the right play was to play search for a scanta. Because we need to dig for a land, but I just feel like I'm drawing a land here, so it's okay. Yeah, right? Ragavan on the draw! Like, this Ragavan on the draw has never hit in modern. Like, this is the first time in the history of the game that a turn one Ragavan hits something in modern on turn two. Sorry, on turn one on the draw. Okay. Like the, re the reason why Ragavan is balanced is that sometimes you lose the Daro. Okay, what you do there? Goblin Chieftain, Kiss Kifo. 
Uh, okay. Any morph? Anyone likes a good old morph here? All right, land for Pepengu. Land for Pepengu? Hmm. I think I'm going to play an Inquisition of Kozalek and then a Fire Eyes on the Morph token. I think the reason why Ragavan is balanced is that it costs $100, so not that many people can afford it. So it keeps, it, it keeps things balanced. Our opponent, I would like to know your secrets. Attenzione, they're violating something, what is it? Ah, I have a motto. So morto. Okay, now I would like to see your hand again, though. Oh, Barber and Arbinger. <gasps> they have the ringleader. Like, nobody has ever beat this card. You know who's also nobody has ever beat? Missing a third land drop. You can't uh, probably, can't, can we probably, I'm just passing here, I don't know. I don't feel like doing anything at the moment. This is a typical Goblins game where Goblins will do all the good things and the opponent will just look at their hand full of six blue cards and be like, Pepe hands! That's what's happening at the moment. Unfortunately, we don't have Force of Will. Could have counterspelled it. I just wanted to get lucky. They got Kiki Jiki, okay. Mm. I really feel like I can't um, sacrifice a treasure token to do one of these cards. I just need to draw land. And now, like, I might be taking an awful route, but. I just need to pass, I think. Like, I wanna keep the treasure token very, it's very, very important to me. Why not counter spell? I felt like I need to keep the treasure to do other stuff. This card on its own, like, I don't know. I think like if you hit well with this, I'm fine in just losing the game. I just have to hope to get unlucky, to get to get a bit lucky here. Ah, uh, this one, this one is too much, I think. Because if they play well, in the sense they never tap this Kiki Jiki, I have to keep mana up forever and not winning that game. Terre, però! Bene. Okay. Now he goes not bold. Pass. Do you sleep without pillows? No, no, I have my pillows right here. This is that my mom uh, pillow shames me. She doesn't like pillows. So, I don't, I don't show them on stream. You activate Den of the Bugbear. See? Uh, I'm gonna get island. She does she doesn't like the show pillows. Alright, we somehow handled my opponent. No no no, it's do sleep with pillows, yes, it's just Land! Uh do I do something here? Am I just playing search for a scanta? Must 
we somehow <laughs> are in a good shape. A mod fanatic. Why did you keep all these cards? It's so weird when for a turn they don't play a card and then a turn after they play two cards. In paper you'd be like, hmm. Did, did you draw two this turn? Alright, uh, you attack me for two, I'm taken. I have six cards in the graveyard. Do I want to guarantee the flip? Nah, I'm just binning literally everything here. No, the bell, I think Elix, no, pero. Ah, all right, I guess literally anything that isn't lying in Elix. This is the classic. It happens all the time with Search for Atkanta. You have six cards in the graveyard, and then you're like, all right, I need to flip it. I literally, <laughs> just... all right, if it's in the graveyard, no, okay, I'll draw it. You have no cards in it, sweet. Uh, do I do something? No, I guess I'll uh, pass here. Say bye. Pay the echo. I think I want to ice the vial. Because I'm going to Lightning Elix this turn. The ringleader. And I go to a bit more life. Die, 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 die. Go, go, go. Thoughts is in the yard, flip at Scanta, draw card. I'm activating at Scanta here. Hmm, Kaya's Guile or Path to Exile. What do I like? Uh, I think I like. Yeah. Kai's girl seems cool. Could also play Jace, but uh, I don't know. Put in place creature. I don't like to play planeswalkers against creatures. Ooh, Goblin Matron. Attenzione. I'll put in all of a sudden can do it all with the uh, Violent 4. Yep. Imagine, imagine if I just went Jay's brainstorm. I don't know. That would have been terrible. All right, what you got? What you got? Hmm. You got Kiki Jiki number two and the mascot and the munition expert. This can also deal damage to planeswalkers. Worst Matron art of all time? Really? The seventh edition one? I don't. It's not true. It's look how cool it is. I disagree. I like this art. Good not Smith, the worlds need more negative opinions. I appreciate you sharing it on, on the internet. Oh, Matrons are beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get the Jessica Trium. And the uh, draw card. Uh, am I kicking this thing? It's not bad, right? Yeah, it's not bad. It's just that they have Kiki Jiki. Eh, I lost. Unless I I, lo I I lost. I probably just lost here. Yeah. Kaya's got work on MTGO yet? Why? It didn't work at some point? You think Jace Fate Seal could be better? Yeah, I could have gone Jace Fate Seal for sure. Blue 3 Jays, I'm dead on board. Blue 3 Jays. 
Okay, let's kick things thing entwine. Pay six. Don't play the card, thank you. But fine. All right. Um, I'll go seven. I guess you'll let my point out with a match run there. Oh, they violate another ringleader, it seems like. Oh, Sling Gang. La Gang. All right, I lost to the gang. Kiki Jiki Gang. Good game. Good game. Might have. There was a point where I thought I was dead. There was a point where I thought I was winning, and then I was dead. Sanctifier, like Celestial Purge, a braid. Uh, that's it. I'll take out Counterspell, Mana Leak. For some negation. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Roll it. Oh, collective brutality. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a removal spell. Pretty bad. I think I'll V click. Yep. Let's go. Hello, Sir Fat Shine. Okay. Three zero is my opponent name. Zero one is my name. I got lands and spells. Ooh, Monster Mentor. Come on, Monster Mentor. Carry like in the good old days. When I when I won the World Magic Cup in 2015, I had these two cards in my deck. Maybe even this card. Yeah, must have beat. No, maybe not. M14? Was M14 in my list? Let's check. I got internet here for you. Andrea Mengucci, Esper Dragons. Or Magic Cup 2015. Let's check the list. Oh, look, my list was. My list was. Three full tongue invocation, four dress, two dragon of Simulgar, four dragon of Doge Die, four dig through time, Curse of Fate, complete disregard, Kiss Kifo, four Jealous Spout, four Jace Telepath Unbound, Languish, Painful Truth. Pollute Delta Prairie Stream, Shambling Bend, Silumgur's Corn, Sunken Hollow, Swamp, Ultimate Price, Other End. The sideboard did not exist at the time, looks like. Oh, I'm still grateful to Dexstats.net. Uh, Alright, let's go! My hand is reasonable. Do -de 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 -de. What do you think about Fire? No, no, no. Fire Ice is so strong. Play Fire Ice. Don't play the Charm. No, no, no. Good morning, good morning. Oh, Ether Vile. A card that usually shows up on turn one. Hey, yeah, let's go. J Ooh, very strong draw. Bravo, Mango. Bravo. Exactly what I wanted to draw against an Ether Vial, call against command. You think Porsche is better than Ferrari? I guess if you can't afford a Ferrari, it's fine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, also, I don't know. Revised uh, Underground Sea is better than Meta Bet Underground Sea. Agree. I opponent. I know it's a scary card. Oh, there was there was a person in the chat. There was like a troll account that always asked if I should play Jace the Brains Prodigy. Are you around now, person that wanted me to play Jace the Brains Prodigy? Okay. Um, I think I want to be greedy, and I want to just play Monastery Mentor first. 
and pass. And not call against command of Isle. Okay, you got you got something there. What's that? Oh, a mod fanatic. Bad news for your opponent. I play X twos. No, no me fa, no me fa. No, they have a the munition expert. I should sell power to buy Ferrari. I I don't think I can afford it, even if I sell the power. Also, also, just like. Tomoharu Saito taught me Buy Lotus, don't buy house Tomoharu Saito in 2016 said to Li Shitian Li Shitian wanted to buy a house in Japan and Tomoharu Saito told him Don't buy house, buy Black Lotus If only, if only Li Shitian would have would have listened to him in 2016. Buy Black Lotus. That's the um, just the everlasting suggestion. If you ever need a house, if you ever need a house to buy, ignore. Ignore that need. Just buy Lotus. Hmm. Ether Vial. No, you do have the Munition Expert here. It's just the flow of this game is so slow. My opponent is clicking about it every minute. I just can't really follow what's going on anymore. Alright, goodbye, Mentor. You did nothing. And now Monastery Mentor goes to the graveyard with the meme. My job here is done. But you haven't done anything. Monastery Mentor. I don't know. Oh, we can kill both of Pork Camer. They finally calling us commanded the the vial there. Che cappella, cazzo. All right, let's go. K command. Um, pa pa pa. Allora, where is it? The sword target artifact deal two damage to. Yeah, mob fanatic is fine. You ping me. Okay, I'll accept it. Still kill the vial. Now I flip my planeswalker. Oh, I even draw land. Nice. I discard a Jace uh, Lingering Sauce. Then I go land go. Exactly, Rob Meadows. A Lutri deck is a pile of sweet cards that nobody's playing for years. <laughs> Plus some Modern Horizons 2 cards. Yeah, exactly. How is this unnecessary? As long as you have Black Lotus. Uh. You'd like to return the Mox instead of killing the Fanatic. Nah. The Mentor is gone. The job is gone. Also, I needed to flip my Jace. If I return the Fanatic, I don't flip my Jace. His job was done. Like, like... I played it. It made me remind some sweet memories of 2015 when this card was playable, and now it's time to put it in the graveyard. Yeah. Right, I actually have a sweet memory of Jace Rain's Prodigy. Uh, it was testing for PT Vancouver, so this was uh, Magic Origins, PT Magic Origins, and we found out that Jace was really strong. So what I did was I just uh, purchased some Jace. Um, and uh, for uh, for about like 15 euros and then the card spiked to very very much that was probably one of the only that at least i can remember just mango stonks of a card that i thought was good in preview that was very underpriced most most of the times when i purchase cards in preview i do like huge flops like but no this time was actually a, a good deal <laughs> Allora! Alright, I wanna braid that and just flashback lingering sauce, I think.
Yeah, yeah, man. I didn't make profit. I just bought four J's for me. That's it. That's no profit. It's just that, you know, eventually I would have needed to buy them because I played, like, all the events. So I needed to buy the J's eventually. So at least I spent, like, 15 euro on them and not, you know, 50, 60. You can play Cast Distant and Mage. You can play Gaia Drone. You can play anything you want. It's a Lutri deck. I just chose to net deck because that's who I am. I did change one card, so I added a Memory Deluge for a Teferi 5, so I can call this my homebrew. Do you sell a news card or keep everything? I used to sell when I, you know, needed the money to travel. Now I don't need anything, so I just, I just keep. I just keep. Just like, just like when you're opening hands, you just keep. Don't ship it back. Don't sell. Keep. Alright, my hand is awful. I barely have an island. Mm. Unclaimed territory. Always nice to see unclaimed territory and not um, not the other one. I think I am going to play Watery Grave here. Yeah, I'm just hoping to cycle this, maybe. Yeah, after cards that you suddenly need after getting rid of them. Oh, for sure. Opponent without Vile. There must be a bug. That must be a bug. Opponent didn't play a turn one Vial. I don't think that's legal, actually. Alright, I drew a Ragaban. Which is not good because they probably have, um, you know, that card. E am I just still casting it? Nah, it goes under the Mukshi Tunition, so. Yeah, there's a new Unclaimed Territory in Kamigawa. I wonder if that's gonna change things. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mog Fanatic. Alright. Oh, it's finally time for the play that everyone in the world loves. Eh? What's a play that literally everyone in the world loves? What's a play that if you ask to a Magic player, hey Magic player, what's your favorite play Magic? It's just freaking Vindicate a land. I just get out. Like, I don't want to see you anymore. Get out. That's what they say. Anyone would say that. Opponents, opponent means the land drop minus one land to you. Because you know why? I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. This actually, this play has a very high win rate because because people just hate getting their lands distracted. They hate it so much. It's the worst thing in Magic. So if you're already mana screwed, it's like basically you 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 got stone rain because you miss a land drop. Your opponent casts Vindicate, which is like a terrible card. Nobody would play Vindicate. On a land, you miss a land drop again, you just off it. You concede. So the Vindicate on a land play actually has a very, very high uh, win rate of a play. But I'm speaking for truth here. Only competitive uh, suggestions on Mango Stream. All right. Let's go. Round number three against Manufan. I got lands, I got spells. They played the Superior Companion, unfortunately. I mean, it was about to happen. Uh, let's go, seven cards each. Blood Crypt, Dragon's Ray Challenger. Unfortunately, opponent does not play Mog Fanatic now. We stepped up, come on, Fairy Islet. Why does this play Fairy Islet? All right, how do I see? How do I sequence this? I can sequence this. Just guy Triumph Swamp, or Mardu Triumph Island. Wow, none of them can cast Lightning Elix. All right, hello, uh, Bona. Let's just go Mardu Triumph. Mardu Triumph Island is my sequence here. Go go. Can you just do this play? 
Topland Ragaban. I know it's unlikely, but can you do that for me? I can even accept uh, Ragaban. No, no, don't talk to me. No, Stabo, no. Dash Ragaban. Okay, then. I really dislike this play. If you've seen my stream, you know that I don't dash. Especially on turn two. Don't fucking be talking one drop, giving cats. Hmm, come back. Nice! Ma! Vai, vai! Fire Rice. Fire Rice is so powerful. Fire Rice is such a strong card. For real, though. So good that it printed this in modern. Um, Aloha, let's go Island Fire. Sequencing with this deck really reminds me of Q, but when I draft my crazy five color decks. Pam! Alright, you keep on dashing. You can dash every turn if you want. Bye bye, dasha, dasha. <laughs> ah, I play like literally one cantrip. Okay, that's fine. They, they took a risk twice. Like I never do this play, so I never, you know, gain actually. But obviously like if you take risks, you can gain. And with Ragavan actually rewards people that love gambling. Because they actually can do this play. I would never do this play, so I can never get considered there. Okay, they got four cards in end. As per cent, you know, that's a good card. It's a very good card. As per cent, you know, so strong. They got a lot of lands. I think now I'll go ahead and uh, make them draw a card. Or I can also just Lightning Neelix the the, the, the Ragavan and pay for the tax. Yeah, maybe that's better. Yeah, maybe that's better. Yeah, I was going to uh, Prismari Command the Esper Sentinel, but then I'm like, I can't just wait, there's no rush. To kill an artifact and deal two damage. They're probably gonna play other creatures. And if it's a channeler with the Lyra yet bolt. Yeah, Lutri time, yep. Yeah. That shadow five five. That shadow five five. Black castle. If I just kept the lightning elix, they would have died. I had eight damage. You know, instead, oh, spit, oh, spit, oh, spit, oh, spit. I can get back Lutra this turn and I take 11 damage. And then. Okay, so I'm dead to a shock land if I tap out for Lutra here. Ah, uh, I wish I wish I let Ragavan through. I didn't expect that with Shadow. Ah, uh, the window's closing. Even if I get back Lutri, I still lose. I'm dead. Obviously, if I left mana up, they wouldn't have done this play. All right, game. I 
I think the the get back loser blade can like barely win if opponent does like something or draw something, but otherwise, I think if I just pass the turn, it just attack me for eleven. And what do I do? All right, um, mm, I'll have these two. This probably this. I want relic and maybe bomb as well. What do I take out? Thoughtseize. I think I'll mentor is just, yeah, I don't think I like a mentor. Hmm. I think I like both of these, yeah. Maybe just relic, okay, maybe just relic. It's a Wallander. Mm, I can't keep Wallander. Hmm. Do I have Autumn Supreme Verdict? I think so. Can get Savai Trium? Yeah. The thing is that we don't have another bolt in the deck. We're playing Lutri deck. So the burn plan was really thin because I didn't have that many cards that dealt three damage. I already used Bolt and Elix. Again, like playing this deck is so like there's so many lines all the time that it's fine to disagree with the line. That's a that's a beauty of magic. Snowcaster. Yeah, I have no caster. That's true. Uh play this land here. I wanna keep bold, because bolt plus lutri is actually a play pattern that's somewhat available in this in this deck. I play Lutri a lot in the in the cube we have Lutri and it's of course like a very good card since in draft you have singletons. Mm. Or I'll remain Elbent. No cards for me. Ooh, Vindicate. <coughs> you don't just Vindicate a land here, that's just straight up wrong. You do that when your opponent like, misses a land drop, but if they just don't miss land drop, just don't Vindicate a land. Alright, this is the companion time. The problem with vindicating this land here is that it can just go Alluris Bubble. If they have a land. If they don't have a land, they pass. Nah, I think I have to pass. I have to keep Vindicate for Alluris. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it looks like the Golurus plus um, Channeler. And I fetch uh, for a Trium end of turn. Mm. 
Okay. Crooksa. E. Ay, ay, ay. So here I go to 11. And then I have to hope to draw a spell. Because next turn the crooks is coming down. Oh no, you make me discard a card. And you just, you go back lures. I don't wanna play anymore. I don't wanna play anymore, opponent. The superior companion showed up to give Lutri a spank. Oh mamma mia. Imagine just join a challenge with a Lutri deck and making top 16. You must be so talented at the game. Huh? You just say, you know what, today I'm just gonna play a Lutri deck. And you even win. Games. This deck might as well be five color. Yeah, yeah. You can splash green for fixers, like you do in cube. Very often in cube, people show show up decks to me, and they're like, "Why are you splashing green over oh, these five? And it's like, "Could I reach search for tomorrow?" And you know the classic splashing green for fixers. All right, Lutri. Okay, the opponent doesn't play companion. That's the good news. My hand has all the colors of magic, so I'm keeping. Opponent's called Dragon Father. One and a red make two goblins token. Yeah, definitely calorie FTV. It's not 5 0, but it's definitely fun. Alright, I'm gonna start with Thoughtseize. They usually have. Um, I don't know, a spreading seize. I don't want them to spread my C. Good morning, Analytico. Hmm, is that a spell pierce? Cosa? Pierce with your force? Alright, your hand is not good. And they don't play Lurs. Why would they not? Why don't, would they not play Lurs? It, why just go for an only heat? Yeah, maybe I can just actually um, don't do anything. Because if I go for steam vents here, I don't have access to white mana. But an only heat does immediately. I think I want to have access to white mana with uh, just guy triumph. Maybe that plays a red sun. Yep. Rankle. I just really love the one two bracket in modern. You know that I ended up messaging uh, MTGO uh, Big Boss asking uh, to asking to give us uh, the friendly cues on Magic Online. Because on Magic Online now, there's only one queue. Everyone plays in the same, um, like, queue. But back in the days, it used to have different queues. Competitive and intermediate. Where you could play, like, brews and just don't need to bother about lures and such. Alright, we're going to try them. On top of keep, drop. Okay, not bad. Uh, I'm happy to play this. Our opponent just drew lands, but he drew Castle Vain, Castle Locked Wayne. Uh, definitely a strong card. 
at this stage of the game where nobody's doing anything. This cube draft, yeah, basically it's cube draft. You don't even have lands in pure cube style. All right, that's the castle. All right, they scoured themselves this time and found the cling to this. Can I draw land? No. Draw stun map, the land group. Okay, thank you. All right, I'll literally put a Jace Demand Sculpture as a Raven's Crime, as a Cabal Therapy name, a Fatal Push. Two mana Cabal Therapy. Do, 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 do. I wonder why they fetched. Please, Magic Online, give us lands. Any land is fine. Any land is fine. Even a, even a, even a Trium. I'll accept that too. Just any land, please. <sighs> is not doing anything i just wish i could draw land mm, okay there are 12 we have castle locked wayne Maybe we should just play like Serum Visions Opt, you know, those things. I think the curve is too clunky at four and three. There's just way too many like bad cards in this deck. You should just like filter more. Wow, they don't do anything. Ooh, Watery Grave. I think it's doing it. Watery Grave. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Vindicate on the castle. Yeah, it, it has to be the way it starts. Because I can't really fight it with my opponent here. If they keep on drawing two cards per turn. Even if it's just four mana. Oh, <laughs> counter spell. Okay. So he's a Guild Enforcer. Nice. One mana, three, two. Take that wild my cattle. You got one card in end. Murky boy. Murky boy is pretty large. Mm hmm. They have no cards in end. Hmm. Draw a card with castle. Yeah, this is gonna be really hard to beat. Wow, that were secrets. Uh, I think I wanted to go to Fury Bounce the Merc. Like, despite I have a way to kill it with uh, Drown, I think I should uh, try my best to just draw land. Do do. All right. Drop. Um. I 
So that's the thing, whenever you play like this bruise and spicy deck and whatnot, like, oh, cool, cool cards, I like that, blah, blah, blah. But when you lose, it's not fun, Chad is not messaging, and it's boring. So that's the classic, like, conundrum of content creator. One, you want to play, like, a strong deck, because you want to win, because winning is fun. Two, you want to play a cool deck, but then you lose, even against, like, freaking Thieves Guild Enforcer, and it's not fun. So, you know, that's... This is this is why I don't play that many like brews, and I was very hesitant to play this deck until now. All right, uh, let's bring in uh, uh, these cards. Finally a good card! Tutto sto mare de merda! Finally a good card! Alright. Let's go, Ragaban. Let's go. Shoot him how you do it. Um, I'll go Steam Vents. Please don't kill my Ragaban. Please don't kill my Ragaban. Please no kill Ragaban. Wow! Leave the removal that two bounds, you think? <laughs> Alright, what do we hit? Counter spell, okay. Hello, Wally. Oh, good, oh, good. Alright, I think my point is missing land drop. Please somebody give me a Vindicate. Did I sideboard it out? I did. Alright. Unfortunately, this deck doesn't play for he's for bolts, so when it is able to trade, eh, I think I'm gonna cast uh, Lingering Sauce. Spirit token. Okay, they passed. They could have the one three flyer. Soaring thought thief. Hmm. All right, I'm mainly my graveyard. You ever explain Castle of Interest? Yeah, it's a waiting room for Otawara, the new land from Kamigawa. Creeping Tar Pit. Okay, so, um, huh, she trusts Kanta super strong here. I'll play her. And then I pass. I'm just gonna play Brazy B end of turn. What are my thoughts on the rare lands from Neo? 
Very good. I'm very happy they're making more of them. The more magic cards... Like, the more lands... So let me let me rephrase. The more wizards give us incentives to not play basic lands, the better it is. I think that, you know, playing basic swamp after 27 years. Like I think the basic land should just be relegated to to limited. So seeing more of the cards like, I don't know. Engage uh, Bozej, Otawara, and etc. that just straight up replace lands, I think is good. So it's very good for the game, I think. Okay, take one. Yeah, you might think the Blood Moon is good, but then again, Bozej plays well against Blood Moon. Okay, um, gonna go Lutri now. I can go Snapcaster, Express Iteration Lutri. Nah, just go Snapcaster Iteration. Okay. Hand bottom exile. I'll uh, cast consider. Bolt in the graveyard, yes. Fetch island. And play my own murky. Delving. Consider bolt. That's it. Pass. I mean, again, the reason why we see so many basics is also because of fetch lands. In modern, you play all these basics because of fetch lands. In, for example, historic, you play like one basic. In pioneer, you play like one basics. But in this formats with uh, fetch lands, you have to play basics because the fetch lands will require you. But it's very important that they print magic cards having new formats in their mind, like standard and pioneer or whatever, historic and alchemy, or whatever they want to think about. But yeah, just formats without fetch lands. Hmm. Oh my god, it's lightning, Elix. Okay, uh, let's offer the trade here. Play Vapor's and Egg, yeah. Wow, they don't take it? Crazy. I guess I just flashback lingering sauce here. Oh, that's true. This pumps. I forgot about it. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> Thankfully, they didn't trade. Thankfully, they didn't trade. I'll play Brazy B. So weird they didn't trade. It doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? A second Marky boy? Okay. 
All right, we won a game. We won a game. Do three, copy, click you twice. Alright. Take a bathroom break and come back for game number three. Um, hello, Karpek. E, do I want to kind of go? Actually, this card seems kind of cool. And Dylan Click looks pretty terrible. And I guess it blocks the Albert. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, Lucian the Spell Chaser has been revealed. Uh, my hand is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not the best hand, but you can't be too picky with the Lutri deck. The yellow Inquisition of Kozilek. Yellow. Oh, you got my thoughts. You all right? Draw. Blood Crypt. Yeah, that would have been a good draw if I had Thoughtseize. But I don't anymore! I still have a good draw with Crooks, so it's fine. Happy about it. Dodro Secrets. And then about my Elix. Hmm. Yeah, she just the Elix.
Maybe I should just elixir. I know that Kirksa doesn't play well with Howard Fontaine or Flood Strand, but. I don't think it's a huge issue. Why do you have a ratchet bomb? <laughs> Yeah, I could have cast you as a block crypt though. Yeah, that's true. Or right, you went to mark that regent. I'm hoping that my Teferi resolves here. Uh, we'll, what color do I want to get here? Maybe Steam Vents. Nice. Super happy about this. Super happy about this. I think I'm gonna go Snapcaster Thoughts is here. Oh, I could have. Oh, sorry. I could have draw stepped it. I forgot about that. All right. I think I'm taking Merc that Regent. The rest is very much beatable. Could have, I could have done the famous Stasis and draw step play. All right. I'll play Kruxa. Hmm. Now. Okay, I got one card and has a fatal push. Now I do I want to leave a yeah. I think this is okay. I'll leave uh, all my options up. Play thought scour. With a card in its fatal push. You're milling yourself. Okay. If it was me, I think I would have countered. Because this would have been a 3 2. Maybe not. Maybe I just let it go and just kill the thieves. Oh yeah, I guess I have Crooks, so they don't want to bounce me. Because of Teferi, I'm happy to just bounce the Thieves here and just go consider. P ending, I'll draw it. Relic of Progenitus is sweet. Alright, I'll uh, delve it all. Make it this card a card. And then I'm not sure I want to play Relic. Yeah, I'll play Relic. Even if I don't crack it, I think it's still better than going Prismatic Ending end of turn on the Thieves. Won't you want to see my librarian? How's it going?
We have the Strange Pair, Crooks Up, Listifering Play. Alright, and you push. So you have one card and it's a thief. There it is. And they mill me for two. So that refills the crooks a little bit. Eh. I think I just stick up to Fairy, Galutri, and pass with my two triumphs up. Definitely a nice feeling to have a, a deck that mills you and you have crooks in your graveyard. Yeah, that's... I'm happy about this. They just that, This means they mill me for four. And now a P ending this thieves here. Because of the fear plus, the sorcery can play the instant speed. I'll go Kroxa, red, black, red, black. Yeah, the Severe only costs three. Sick. You discarded another Drown. Sweet. And then I... Yeah, I'm probably happy to just bounce the thief here. There you go. Having a rally around means that you can counter their drone in the lock. Of course, I already have to fairy to do that. I mean, life is just easier when you have to fear in play. Especially in matchup against flash creatures. Yep. Attack for nine. This game is over. This is like Infernal Titan when it attacks. All right. Do, 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 do. Gonna go bolt, hold priority, cast loot tree. attack all right two two let's go for round number five 50 play points in the bank let's see if we can get 100 
You don't like the theory of Do you have an opinion on some of the Demir controllers floating around? There was also the article that we wrote one. I have uh, one video. If you if you Corolla uh, 86, if you look at my YouTube channel, you go to the modern playlist. You scroll a bit. I have played a Demir uh, Lurus deck. I think it's just strictly worse than Greg's Shadow. But uh, if you are looking for, uh, you know, a fun bruise, it's um, yeah, you can definitely do that. And the cards are powerful, but just giving up on the on the red MH2 cards is uh, definitely costly. Problem of canal. So you have okay, Mulligan to six. All right, you go. Ooh, architects of will. So that's oh yo yo. I have Kaya's Guile to do the um, to exile the graveyard if they go living end. Oh, do I lost the die roll? Th that's not that's not a good thing. I need to tell my opponent I play blue eye controller so that they don't uh, go off on turn three in their turn. I guess they do have supreme verdict. Oh wow! They didn't have any cyclers. That's a great news. Oh grief! I uh. Oh, is that true, Elspeth? <laughs> All right, I can I can think about that later. This week, I'm just waiting for Kamigawa to drop, so I don't I don't think it makes much. I don't know. I like to play Magic Online. You know why waiting for the new set? All right, they don't have a Cascade card. Looks like. Ooh, counter spell. Probably won't expect it. Found a VOD? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I've been uploading uh, uh, modern videos on the YouTube channel for months and months now. And I'm trying to play with every deck. So if there is a deck you're interested in, it's very likely that um, I've played it on the stream. Teferino, very strong, Teferino. Teferino is very strong. Any cards? Yeah, for sure. I mean, plenty of cards of my interest. Opponent is not drawing well, fortunately for them. Let's go Swamp here. Yeah. Let's go Deluge. Wow, let me let me go here. Sweet, sweet. I mean, this is a very terrible memory deluge, but uh, uh, um, I think I want to go search for Atskanta. I'm just writing the value here while my opponent is just waiting because they know I have Supreme Verdict. You can't really live in end with us, uh, yeah. Oh, Anibal, I have a, I have a, look, Anibal, look at this thumbnail, because I'm going to upload the three Crack the Earth videos. I have them, I have them all made. You pay the theft my search for it, can't, uh, all right. This is, this is it. It doesn't have your, it doesn't have your thing, but... Because I'm testing Thriven Inspector and Chromatic Star. So that's it. It has the Aki behind. That's a new thumbnail. I got a I got a good friend of mine helping me with the thumbnail game and I think it's I think it's likely that most of the new success I'm getting on this on these numbers is also coming from the new thumbnail. 
instead of like the one that I was making myself, which were like very basic. All right, they're passing without doing much, and uh, I mean, I also just on top without doing much, I think. All right, I like Quick Command here. If opponent goes like Brazen Bar or End of Turn, I just K Command it. Yeah, I think it's fine. I guess they can go Living Gand Grief, my Supreme Verdict. Maybe I should go to Fairy here. They go for some negation, I go Counter Spell. I think it's all right. Or I just replay search, they play Brazen Bar, I play K Command. No, it's bad, I said it before. Alright. Um yeah, I'm gonna go to Fairy Counter Spell now. I'm gonna go to Fairy Counter Spell now. Yeah, the clips is doing great numbers. Although, by my understanding of YouTube, and correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong here, by my understanding of YouTube, the, oh, you got double forced. You have no cards in end. Wow. The clips are good as a, like, bait to the channel but um, the clip is good as a bait to the channel but the clip itself doesn't make like the, the long videos make more money than the clips so the clips do the good numbers but they don't make but don't they, they don't make enough money um, okay, I'm gonna go Lingering Sauce. Yeah, actually, I don't have a counter spell now because I just spend it all on that counter war. Hmm. So I guess I'm just flashing back memory to lose this turn and then. You agree with what I said? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. No, no, but that's fine. I mean, the, the problem with clips, in my opinion, is that it's hard to make them. Like, it's hard to make a clip. Like, you have something very fun to happen in a game of Magic. And, you know, I'm, I'm planning on making some clips with all the uh, Mana Thite and Crack the Earth. Okay, I'll get Drown. But it's not easy, I think. It's not easy. Alright, so next turn I can go... Yeah, no, I'm very happy to get, to get Drown. I think I'm getting consider. Okay, I like Merc as well. I'm gonna play Lingering Sauce. I'm gonna play Merc. I pass with Drone Up. No, actually, one sec. Let me just play Search for Atkanta. I'm possibly drown up. Okay, look at the VOD when the chat is only cack of a RA. MTG Brew Lab. You listen to the podcast with CGB and Arjuna. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you like to listen to podcasts, uh, I, I was I was a guest on uh, Core to Go Blue podcast. And we talked about magic. Just general, like, an hour of, like, things. And uh, you can listen to that. You just go to YouTube channel of Core to Go Blue. Or you go to podcast and you listen to Arena Craft podcast. It's good. They are very good people. 
that I didn't I mean, I didn't know before, so that was cool. Um, what am I playing against? Living Gand. Nice. I'm gonna have Graveyard. Uh, just general counters. How's about Sanctifier? Hmm. It's not good. Uh, take out Explosives Ending. I think I'm gonna keep Supreme Verdict. Take out Mentor, just in like every single matchup. I'm sorry, Mentor. I'm sorry for the people who likes Mentor. Mala Vita Così. Dress down. What about Path of Exile? Eh. What about Fatal Push? Out. What about Bolt? Eh. Hmm. Maybe Elix is worse. Eh, this looks like a sideboard in. It's pretty bad. Uh, maybe Collective Brutality as a Discord spell. Better than the Mind Sculpture. Yeah, the Mind Sculpture just doesn't look like possible for me to tap out in this matchup. Mm, I guess it's not true. If I have like... I rather can play. Okay. Crooks may not be as best. That's true, but the thing to me is that cheap cards can always find a spot to be cast, whereas expensive cards don't. So you can never be too wrong in adding more cheap cards to your deck, I think. But you can definitely be wrong and punished if you draw too many 3s and 4s. Like, I don't know if you saw earlier, but I had infinite 3 drops, I draw 2 lands, I lost the game. If you draw infinite 2 drops, you can still cast them most of the times, and it's gonna be fine. And I think that's just a general rule in magic modern in modern magic these days. Like the more three drops you put in your deck, the more likely you're gonna be to get, you know, color screw, mana screw, like just not cast your cards. Like for example, I have now I need now to leave up a spell pierce for the rest of the game, right? Until I until I cast it. So I can't cast a two drop now. But next turn I can. Yeah, well, I'm a spell OP, although I, I, playing few, playing Lutri means that I can't, uh, I can't play 4 Channel or 4 Ragavan. <laughs> is that a whale? The whale is really good. The 2 mana whale is really good. And Living Gain is gonna get a new card soon. It's a 7 mana thing that has Channel 3, you regrowth something, and Channel 2, you bounce something. And then it's a 6 5 Flying War 2. It's a whale. It's really good, I think. Go for a classic double thing. This looks like a, a force of negation to me. If they go turn three violent outburst plus force of negation, you just raise your arms and concede. You can't beat that. That's just the perfect top 14 cards or whatnot. And you lose. It's fine. Can't win them all, especially with a Lutri deck. Living Gun is a tier one. This is a huge difference to what I was talking before. Obviously, you can still beat them, but if they have a the count a, a good card, how does this deck work? You play. It's like Commander. You play cards you like and you join and hope to draw them in the right order. Yeah, that thing that for the living again. The turtle. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I'm sure it's gonna be played. I don't know many copies, but people play Titanothrex, and that card sounds awful. You definitely replace Titanothrex with the turtle now. Alright, this hand is amazing. We got like all the tools that a normal good deck has. <laughs> we look like a normal good deck now. Must be nice. Mm. Is this red like yeah, Flood of Strand Red Flood of Strand Rakdos. Now though I have a question, is do I play Channeler turn one? That's too greedy though, because I've went in place. Why am I gonna do five? 
component plays uh, uh, grief in their deck. So let's just get this bomb down. Of course, they can have force of negation, but they will always have force of negation. Whereas grief is only turn one. Okay. <laughs> Mine's so bad <laughs> now that they took this, but it's okay. I have a bomb in play. I can't complain. Ragavan. No Ragavan. That's okay. Gonna get a Savai. Oh, so. Huh. Hmm. I think I'll play Kozza. If I draw a fetch on next turn, this is active. And this puts up a clock, let me tell you. Should be some creature lands. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I just don't want to have more top lands in this deck. Plus, I'm putting Maligan to five, so just making them discard a card isn't a bad deal. I, obviously, I discarded a Botanical Sanctum, which might be the fourth land, and that's just useless, but... I could also just return Lutri, I know, but I just feel like if I draw a fourth land, uh, Krux is really good. And I'm just never cracking the bomb. Like, not a chance I crack the bomb. Prismari Command. That's not good. That's not a good card. But I'll keep it because uh, that'll make me discard his two dead cards. I'd rather play this than play Lutri. Ooh, Sunken Ruin. You are casting Grief? No. Alright, I'll um, uh, draw to discard two and make a treasure. It's not easy. Uh, target player draws to discard two? Okay. It's so nice to just safely tap out all the times. Because you have this in play. Much stronger than Radic of Progenitus. Mamma mia. Alright, I just discard these two. Despite these are all bad, I think this is fine. Okay, I have two cards in hand. Nice. I'm going to play this Inquisition of Kozalak here. Two lands? <laughs> Alright. That's, that's short of the clock. That's short of the clock here then. Black, black, red, red. You take three, you go. Why choose a single spell? Because we played the Lutri Companion. And we're gonna get a 3 2 here. Looks like. GG. Alright, pretty happy with a 3 2, honestly.